Hey everyone, today we're going to go shopping in Akiba because we can't go to Japan this year. Now, this is footage taken from 2019, just before COVID. Uh, when you want to exit Akiba, make sure to go through the Electric Town gate. Don't go through the other side or otherwise you'll end up at Yodabashi Camera, which is usually the wrong side unless you want to go buy food or something like that. But if you want card shops, you've got to go through the right gate. Now, I will be just commentating over this video a bit just to give you some commentary and some things, some notes. But I'll try and keep that to a minimum just so you can enjoy the hustle and bustle of Akiba. And uh, I will be teleporting quite a bit just so you don't have to see me walk. I do have special powers. That's how I get around. But if I don't teleport, it will take quite a long time. This video will probably go for like four, four, five hours or so, maybe even longer. Yeah, so you see me there. I just teleported. I do target where I teleport so you know where I'm going to go. Usually it's a straight line. I'm just crossing the road. So it's not that too difficult. There is a map as well. I'll post the map near the end so you can take a look at where I went to. There'll be a lot of shops, but there's still even more shops in Akiba because it's Akiba. Now this first shop here is colloquially known as Cave. It's Card World Tower Akiba. This is a great shop. It's multi-floors, has a lot of cards. If you want to buy Vanguard or Weiss, Japanese of course, this is one of the good places to go, the prices are okay. Big thing is that this place has a lot of seating space, which usually means it's packed. But that also means that there's a lot of foreigners there as well, so you might bump into people like Different Fight, who might be playing a Fire Emblem tournament. Uh, but it also means, yeah, it gets packed pretty quickly. And the big thing is that the, the playing space is free most of the time. So, unless there's a tournament going on, and free playing space is a big deal in Akiba, because there's not a lot of space. Most of the time, it requires you to pay, like, or buy something first before you can sit down and play. Now, this will be the first of a lot of loading screens as well. If I'm in an elevator, you probably don't want to wait. Or if I'm just wandering around a card shop a lot, I will skip some of it. Especially in the smaller card shops where they don't allow people to film. And I'll just skip. Or otherwise, some place I'm just shopping for a very long time, it's kind of boring. So that is one of the better places in Akiba. Very close to the station as well. The next place we're going to go is also a very significant place. If you're a noob to, to Akihabara, then Radio Kaikan contains basically everything you'd want, so you just go there first. You can already see that there's a shop right at the entrance called C-Labo. It's not very good. This one at the bottom floor doesn't have any play space. The prices are a bit high. They don't really allow filming because it's one of those small shops. So you basically see me just walk in and teleport out. Now, I am with Andy as well, so you can hear us talk about some pointless stuff. This next, next stop is Hobby Station. It's, a, it's an alright shop. It has two floors in Radio Kaikon here. Uh, the first floor is basically the, the more kitty stuff, like Vanguard and Duel Masters and things like that. I think they do Magic the Gathering as well. I'm not sure if it's the first or second floor. The second floor is basically the good stuff. It has Weiss and all the good supplies. Now, you're going to find a lot of these other shops as well that sell a lot of other stuff, especially other card games, so don't be surprised if you walk past. Lots of gacha machines too, gashapon machines. Yeah, but this hobby station on the second floor has a lot of rare sleeves from events. Uh, they can get quite pricey though, so be careful with your wallet. Not just sleeves, mats as well and things like that. Now the reason why I didn't skip this escalator is because this is a shop that you might know, especially if you're a foreigner, Army Army. It is in Radio Kaikan as well, one of its shops, so that's why it's a great place for you to go. It's on the fourth floor, so we're going to go right to it here, and then we're just going to go upstairs again.
these floors that we're skipping also have a lot of collectibles, as you can see. It's a lot of pictures of probably boy bands. Uh, but we're just going to head right back up. So this one is Yellow Submarine. It's one of the bigger, big kind of chains, you'd say. This place has quite a lot of supplies. But overall, the card, like the singles here, aren't that great. And I think, uh, I don't think they allow filming in this, but I kind of get away with it because they're, they're kind of polite and it's kind of big, so I can kind of scoot around and just hold like a weird camera without looking weird. There's still more flaws though. So this is another another shop. This place has a nice seating area where you can play. I forget if it's free or not. It might require like a like a small purchase, but I think I think it is free, but it's generally full all the time. Especially because they also run tournaments. This place also has a nice supply area as well, and it does stock everything. Well, Weiss and Vanguard for me. But yeah, you can see here are the supplies. You can find some pretty rare stuff here too, for at least a decent price. And these supplies aren't just normal stock, they are they are Dojin stock as well from events, so... So onto the ninth floor. This is basically the big floor for all card games. Uh, this C Labo is definitely better than the one on the first floor. It has everything at decent prices, I guess, but also has a lot of supplies, has a lot of event supplies as well. This basically has everything. It has a decent play space as well, but you need to pay to get in there. But it generally has spaces because you need to pay. Uh, big Magic, if you guys order singles online, it's Big Web, but this is their local store. Uh, the prices here are quite expensive, but you'll see that they do have a kind of interesting system where uh, you use tablets, so it's very easy to search for cards. So if you're looking for those commons, this is probably a very easy way to search for it. Also, if you're not really worried about price, then it's okay too. They do sell a lot of Magic the Gathering stuff as well. And generally they have a decent amount of supplies, but it's good as C-Labo, I find. Full comp is kind of jank, it's just there. And you can see a bit of the play space there, but they don't really allow filming. But the good thing is the seats are nice. They're better than a lot of the janky seats at a lot of these other shops. Where they just give you small stools that kind of wreck your, wreck your bum. But this is basically the final store that you'll care about if you're a card player. We do have gacha machines here for event sleeves too. Generally, a lot of Japanese guys don't want these sleeves, but you can kind of kind of sell them overseas and make a buck. Back to the first floor and kind of head out. But you can see there's quite there were quite a lot of shops in Radio Kaikon for the card player. So the next shop is Card Kingdom, right? Card Kingdom shouldn't be your first direction. Everything they have there is very expensive. But it's basically your last chance if you're missing something. Are you just filming it? I have to talk over it. It's too hard to talk in the middle of the thing. That's me showing off my lack of vlogging skills. See, they do have some some sleeves here, but they're not cheap. They're way more expensive than others, and the singles are very expensive too. Again, you need to take an elevator as well. 
they separate most of the... Well, they can't fit everything on one. <coughs> Mistakes were made. So cool. I think these get posted on Twitter quite these a bit. actually done really well, man. But they're well, well worth it. What the hell? Or in all turn sleeves do. Harambe. It's the boy. Hey, they use tablets here as well now. <laughs> they use tablets here as well. There's also a lot of walking up and down stairs. So if you walk through Akiba every day, you'll probably get a pretty nice workout. But your wallet will be pretty empty. <laughs> Alien wear store is still alive somehow. <laughs> so what's the next store after this? Vanguard WS, basically. Kabe. Would you go Kabe first? On the way. Okay. <laughs> this song gets very, very annoying. Going like, don't feel like, bro. Not going like, oh, guy, not going to your place, bro. Fuck. Gonna get cards. Yeah. What sleeves are these? I don't know. These Ultraman sleeves. This is, this is where the guidance come. This place is just pretty much supplies. I don't regularly go to this shop at all. store over there as well. Are you also going to say like how many floors they are? Yeah. This place has a free floors. Yeah. But we only care about certain floors. I know second floor is supplies, right? Yeah. Yes, this play has three floors. It is a hobby station, similar to the other shop Whoa. in Radio Kaika. Oh, never buy a Vanguard. Never buy a Vanguard Kuji man. This was the time when Riviere was meta. Oh, this place is pretty expensive. Yeah, I know. They sometimes are random shit, so it's like pretty interesting. You heard from Andy, yes, this place is not cheap. So, one of the not great places. It does have a second floor which has decent supplies though. But 
you have to walk upstairs. What? I don't know which stores allow you to film or not, so I just like keep a little profile. Gotobun's in Kimetsu. Well, Gotobun is popular in English as well. And so I'm saying it's a guide in Japanese. <laughs> hmm? The last comic I made. I want it though. Go buy it. Yeah, these sleeves aren't cheap. <laughs> Just gotcha. <laughs> Wow, this is morning. <sighs> so this one's next one's the card trash, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's actually card rush. KFC. Guess what I had today? What? KFC. I had Chinese today. What the fuck? Yeah, we were Chinese. I had a burger and then I had a pie. How was the burger? It's pretty average. How was the pie? The pie is just chowder soup, bro. Right? It's like. Oh, man. Yeah, it doesn't look bad story here. It's actually a kebab restaurant. Wow. Let's see. I want to get back. Hey, this place is good. Chicken ramen. <laughs> Eternal cafe and bar, dude. I'm surprised this store is still alive, though. Why would you call it card trash? It's rush. Card rush. Card rush. It's like trash. This is not a store I go to often either. Let's do Vanguard. I'm not gonna do Vanguard. I'm not gonna bother going. Cause they don't have supplies, right? No, just supplies. This one is colloquially known as Cave 2. It's the same kind of shop as the one we first saw in the video. This has a secret play space at the top where less people hang out. I don't think you should, I don't think you should come this place. Why? It's very deep. Dude, people's gotta grow up, dude. <laughs> gotta grow up, man. Okay, you don't want that on the channel. I don't know what it is. I can't read English. <laughs> dude, why do you hate Milan? It's a good second-hand store that sells all your gacha shit that you can't be bothered to get. It's true. So next one's Dragon Star, right? Yes. Mulan does have a lot of random junk, but be careful. Does Dragon Star have supplies? I don't think they really do, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Have some. I got some. I like the special and stuff. Wow, having a camera so powerful can make people look the other way. Yeah. So good. I should film this more often. <laughs> Maids will really approach you as often as they can. Yeah, why don't I push the camera upwards? Does she have to like look the other way as well? Yeah. Wow, she didn't look away, man. I had the camera. <laughs> Dragon style. Where you going? Cast. Cast. Yeah, that's the you. That's the you. 
it looked actually astral force, dude. Everything else. Wow. Dragonstar actually sells fully built competitive decks at the time. So if you're a foreigner and really wanted to get in, you can literally just buy it from here. I mean, the prices are quite okay. I'm going to buy a gold paladin deck for like 9k. A ruby deck for like 13. That's pretty good. That's how much I bought my phone. I traded my phone. Wow, what the fuck? It's Asian, Asian magic, dude. We lost all the mer cards here, right? Oh, there's also the one that's up there. Yeah. So that's Dragon Star. He's a kebab oh, there's shop. There's also a card on wall. Where's that? It's up the fourth floor on top of the Shimba. Oh, that one, yeah. But that one doesn't look good. That has supplies. Right? Yes, that's all the supplies. The ninja, the cat yeah. Minion. 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 Wow, looks like looks like the mates over there are too. I'm not afraid of like getting killed. Well, like, they must be higher rank than. Well, you So watch out for like the really, really tall stores. These stairs are awful. It's like you're an exercise machine, a step machine. You want to go in? What? Okay. Is it close? No, turn it. Turn it. Pretty sure. Mercards is a really cheap Vanguard store, so you can find a lot of interesting stuff there, and they sell a bunch of rare stuff too, but unfortunately they were closed when we came that time. I'm not sure if they still do Vanguard though. Yeah, they're coming back at 6. What's the time now? 5? Yeah. Oh, they're not shop is Fuku Fuku Toreka. I'm mainly here for the Y section, but they do have a play space that is kind of a secret and there's kind of spots around. But since the shop only does Yu-Gi-Oh and Weiss, you can kind of only play those games there. It'd be kind of rude to sit down and play Vanguard. Right, let's go back down. Man. You can see how messed up these stairs are. It's actually dangerous. Why does the fucking things change? Really? So this place is pretty much a second-hand store. And you're gonna see all these lockers, and they're pretty much just people rent out these lockers to sell this stuff. So it means they, there could be some very interesting stuff here. They generally keep all their second-hand stuff pretty, pretty well, but be careful, I guess. Sometimes it's not all friendly, and what might be okay for kids. What deem, what like Japan could deem to be good for kids in Japan might not be yeah. good for you. <laughs> wow, crazy. 
this shop does sell a lot of supplies, but they also sell some very interesting supplies that you might not want your mum to see. So be careful. They also sell singles. So what was it called? Card Shop what? So this yellow submarine is actually very good and is a hub for a lot of locals play and just general play in general. But you do have to pay to sit down. Support your local game stores. <laughs> I don't really do this place justice but they do have a huge play area. You can also buy these interesting books that can hold stuff. There's also a lot of supply brands that don't exist outside of Japan. The milk, the milk coffee, the drink, man. Today? Yeah, in that vending machine. Amenity Dream used to be okay a while back, but they kind of changed their store up a bit, and now it's not great. Couldn't really film in there because it's a small store, and they were kind of picky. So where does it say you can't film? It's on the thing. It's written. I got a lot of displays. Look. They do do some Vanguard and Weiss. Okay, so what are we gonna?
Where do you want to go? It's Sushi Train today. Huh? It's already Sushi Train today. Oh. Oh, isn't it cheap? You know what a cheap place, right? I mean, okay. Yeah. So, but we have to wait for like 10 years. Though. Why? Let's go later. Is there one here? Oh, that's next door. <laughs> yeah, so for context, we were traveling around Japan driving in the countryside when COVID started hitting and basically every single face mask started getting bought and we were on a trek to see if we could get any face masks. And that was one of the funniest ones we saw. So this shop is Grand Panda Canyon. It mainly does Y Schwartz. It has a really dodgy stairway. Who the hell is saying like, Look at that, I can't get over how. <laughs> Dude, I'm like so tired now, man. Are you sure it's here? What? Grand Panda. No, I'm not sure. This is anime figures, dude. This, this shop is not a figure shop. Did you should sell some weird stuff? They sell the the, the top eight playmats. Yuki's. I think they're still Yuki's? trying to sell that Batman playmat though. Why? I'm missing one for a playset. Okay. <laughs> I think we also take a quick break here. Alright. Let's go. Sephiroth, man. What a cool guy. Oh, it's like a winner, man. Yeah. I think the store owners are also kind of decent players. At least for Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, bro. You can see the certificates. I think we should like find like a sleeve capture. Have a sleeve of five. Bilus. Yeah, you can take a look at these oh, stairs again. Sleeve what? Bilus. Bilus? Yeah, some stores have sleeve bilus. I wish it was they buy at the price. Oh, why would you do that? Uh, why? They're not the that this is a thing. It's like spreading the culture. It might be like an interesting fact. Where's the sleeve bilus? It was on the CLB or in the high car. Oh. So over here is one? Full calm. Did I mess up? Am I supposed to go in there? Did you? Ugh. Maybe I didn't screw up. So this full comp is doesn't allow filming, so we're gonna not be in there oh. at all. But I think <laughs> it mainly does Yu Gi Oh. I don't know. Oh, good job. Oh, can't feel it. You can kind of see a bit of it through the doorway. That was full comp. Hey man, you know the most valued sleeve for mini size is what? What do you think? What do you mean most value? Uh, it's the, the best value mini size sleeve. Quality or just value? Value. Like uh, if you're gonna sleeve a deck with it. Ultimate drop, right? No! It is Yu-Gi-Oh! Legend Duelist. 300 yen. 
with 100 sleeves. <laughs> All right, where else is there? There's, well, there's one over there that's like easy. The Surugaya, right? No, oh, Surugaya Is there anything over here? Oh, we need yes. to get the, uh, what is it? Oh, uh, there is, um... They don't do you. Uh, they do you here. Oh. Do they do supplies? They all do supplies. I'll just do a quick Yu-Gi-Oh one. I'll just walk past it and not talk much about it. Like a freak. Actually, a lot of people here. This one? Uh, yeah, there's one here. It's, um, where is it? Call the shop Ch Chermo. Yeah. So that's on the, what, fourth floor? Yeah. Yeah, that is Yu Gi Oh only, is it? It's mostly Yu Gi Oh DM. Yeah. Okay. Then you have, um, what's the other one? Okay, they're all different. Uh, which is the same? Um, Todd Max. There's also, uh, a ton, uh, a not true. Uh, the eighth floor? Yeah, that's also like you hear. But it's called Max? So there's this one. And then Todd Max. <laughs> this thing. So if you've been around the internet, you probably know this store as well, Surigaya. It's mainly a second-hand place, but it does have a lot of random stuff as well. Pictures. 2.5 D actors autograph. Huh. Alright, what's next? Other side? Other side? Shaka shaka shaka. Vocals. Huh? I'm not sure if it's another one. Oh, not the mask. Oh, they have the useless face mask here. Moss burger. Oh wow, the best burger. <laughs> <laughs> so, so They're just chatting inside. Oh, Bang Dream, what's going on here? It's a full up Is it ended? No. So we can enter. Yeah. So is Vanguard affecting to get an extra dive check? Why? I don't know why he plays Pacific. He plays everything, dude. He plays Coral. I reckon he plays like two of everything and like runs that card that surges. Do he? Yes. Shaka Shaka, man. So you guys should know about Shaka Shaka. Different fight did a good video on the shop. It's 
pretty far away from the from the train station. It's near the end of Akiba, so it's kind of hard to get to. The prices are generally okay, and it's kind of become a weird place for all the foreigners to hang out just before Wells. The owners are very friendly too. There's no key amount of cards space, play space. I did buy my play sets from here as well. Yeah. They have a bunch of English cards too. Three minutes. Three minutes. Some of them are signed, so I'm guessing a bunch of foreigners wow. sign their cards and donate them to the shop. Are they English? English no cards as well. Crazy, man. I <laughs> 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 the dodgy G got in. Ah, oh, the great one. English shows. It's fucking Play Riviera. Play Riviera and high roll the shit. It's like two games, a high roll drive. Right? I'm like, whoa! Super high my hands are like four fucking Rivieres. Time to go ham, man. <laughs> And then last game's like, oh, I used up all my Rubies for the day. <laughs> See, we did make it, make it in time for locals at Chaka Shop, so we played, played some standard. Still one more shop though, it's Traders. Look at that Harem Kingdom, wow. This place has a bunch of supplies as well and has a decent single section. Wow, token run. They also, you can see they sell a bunch of other junk as well. Is that it? Can we film? Can we film? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Wow, what is that? What is this thing? 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. It's got robots and shit. So cool. Alright. That's all of them, right? Yep. Basically all the car shops. Alright, let's go eat. It's basically the, the big intersection of Akiba, or at least one of the, the main ones. If you get lost, just find this place. And you're pretty close to the station. Just look for the, the big camera.
Gundam Cafe, you can eat shitty blue curry. At the Aura Cafe, you can eat a burger and shoot a gun with a scope. I'm not a jerk. How's that? Yes. You're a jerk. Wow. It's a mind control device. Look at that guy. And with that, we're back at the Alcuba station. And our journey is over. As you can see, we started when it was, the sun was up. Now it's dark. I'll post a video, uh, not a video, a map of basically everywhere it went. Of course, huh? some things might have changed. There might be new shops as well. But it won't be that different. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.